Good news, my wonderful people. See the new spark of what is going on now. Since the Naira redesign has been announced, some people have been on the edge. Yes, some governors who have stuck up money, you know, some people who have uh, kept things for themselves have nowhere to run to. So they are beginning to, uh, you know, some are trying to dispose of it. This has affected Naira to dollar. Okay, this has affected Naira to dollar and the things are beginning to really affect the economy. Right now, in case you are not aware, EFCC have announced that they are watching two northern governor and one southern governor who have stashed up lots of cash in their homes in different places, different houses, septic tanks and the rest. Okay, we, we just, they, they, you know, these have stacked up these things. You know, they've stacked and said they are watching them. Guess what? Some northern youth also discover, you know, uh, uh, some northern youth after, you know, Oseni react after northern youth, transporters discover rotting Naira notes. You heard me, rotting Naira notes. If you're here to watch you, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be sorry. You know, you'll be sorry. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Popular Nigerian journalist Oseni Raphael, why speaking on Arise TV has reacted after Northern Youth Transporters discover rotten Naira notes to the tune of billions stacked up. Reacting to the news on Arise TV, Oseni said, this is a country that has millions of people living in abject poverty. This is a country that people die because of just 3,000 Naira. This is a country where you have maternal mortality. Children die every day. They are five years below because they don't have appropriate health care. But we can see some people take the common wealth of the country and stack them up. What belongs to the whole of Nigerians. This is terrible. In addition, Oseni further recall how millions of old Naira notes were discovered in the house of a top Nigerian politician after his death. Recently, Northerners, Northern youth who were traveling with onion and tomato find, found millions of Naira notes, found millions of Naira notes stack up already getting rotten. Oseni asked if this is all right. Why we should allow these same politicians come again and again? And the change of this Naira has caused them to be so agitated. And many of them are looking for a way to dispatch and to just, you know, get rid of this cash. And are doing everything, you know, in any way. This is terrible. You know, one politician, after he died, they saw Naira not already rotting. Can you see how wicked we are to ourselves? Millions of was this, this is the one you know. What about the ones that were kept in like septi pits, the ones that were kept in tanks that nobody may see, the one that we are buried underground? Who will discover those ones? Do you understand where we are coming from? Yet, like he rightly said, some children, parents, mothers have died because of 3,000 naira. They could not get the right injection. They could not get the right medication. Not because it's not available, because there is no finances to purchase it. That's why, you see, tell your people not to sell their vote. They should not even give them 10,000 naira. I know they are hungry, but trust me, it will get better. Just hold the hunger, just a little bit more for every one of us so that we not go hunger again. These people, I tell you sincerely, are wicked. With emphasis on wicked, people are suffering. Some people have stashed up millions away. They stashed up millions away. Since INEC, you know, said that they, were, they, are changing, they are changing the Naira, you can see that things have gone from bad to worse. Since INEC said they are changing the Naira, things have gone from bad to worse. Things have gone from bad to worse. So you can see that unless we, eh, we agree that we want this change, it will not happen. Because some people have different interests. Some people have very different interests. Some people have different interests. They're not even seeing what we are seeing. They're not even thinking what we are thinking. They are just on their own. Okay, they are in a class of their own. Doing things on their own. And everybody is quiet watching them. You see what is going on. You see what is happening. So if you keep quiet and we allow these things to go on, things are really going to get really bad. Quickly. Very quickly. 
So it is a sorry situation, a sorry case, and we cannot allow it to continue. So this is what our brother is telling us. Some northern and some northern youth as they were traveling, they saw millions of naira being stashed up away. Millions, you know, rotting. You will see, by, by the time they change the naira notes, they will throw away, they will throw away some, you see some on top of water, they float. Where nobody can use it. Why are we so wicked? Why not use it to build, borehole, do something for your people, give, put children in school, help a parent, help somebody, give somebody scholarship. You save all those money for only yourself. You're wicked, though. Those of you who are starching up politicians, especially. Eh? You're wicked. You are very, you're a very wicked person, though. You're a very wicked person. And, and you will still cry for forgiveness. If they catch you now, you will say, now the work of the devil, excuse me. You are the devil yourself. You are the devil yourself. So these things have to come to an end. These things have to come to an end. What exactly is going on here? And why do we keep quiet and allow these people to continue on this madness tree? Why do we allow them to continue on this madness tree? It's, it's, it's terrible. It's sincerely ter terrible. Since INEC announced, okay, since INEC announced that they are changing the Naira, people have been so agitated. 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 It is terrible, boys. What is happening? They can't even. They can't even. They can't even speak. It is terrible. Listen, my people. Time to arise. Okay. They saw millions of naira stacked up away. Time to arise and to ensure that we we, we are doing the right thing. Eh? Please let's speak out. To oh. not quiet. To oh. not keep quiet. As they announce, as they talk, so EFCC did on the case of three governors, three governors, three governors. Okay? EFCC is on the case of three governors. They say two are northerners, one is from the south, who are stacking up money. And they're not trying to pay workers, you know, trying to pay workers, you know, uh, cash. They're trying to pay workers cash so that they can dispose of some of the millions that they have stacked up. Can you see how wicked we are to ourselves? Leave us a comment. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now.